What's up, YouTube world, man? It's your boy, Vic with the Kicks, a.k.a. Mr. Sneaker Fiend. Shout out, and I'm back with another video for you guys right now. So y'all already know probably what's coming with this box, huh? Y'all know what's coming with this box, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, man, comment down below, man, if y'all know what this is right here, man. Just comment down below, man. But without further ado, guys, I wanted to make sure that I bring to you guys expeditiously, like my boy T.I. say, another video, man, on the Lucky Greens air jordan ones now these were originally guys only coming out in women's sizes um so of course you know if you was a man if you was bigger than a 10 and a half you missed out playboy you know what i'm saying because it only went from i believe sizes for women to up to a size 12 in women's right so luckily i was able to hit for these manually guys it seemed rather probably pretty easy too to hit manually man on these and y'all know sneakers it'd be harder than it'd be harder than concrete man to get a w on that on that app man but uh, I hit for my size, man, size 11 right here, man. So as you can see, guys, if we're able to get a little bit of a close-up on there. Uh, Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG. Uh, colorway is Lucky Green, Black, White, and Sale. As y'all can see, size 11 right there, man. My size, which is a nine and a half. But without further ado, let's see what we about to get into. And man, hey man, do you, oh, man, listen, man, uh, hey man, I watched my boy Mike Vid, uh, Mike Rich video, excuse me, Mike Rich video, man, out there, another famous YouTuber, man, I like your videos, by the way, my boy, you do your thing out there, keep it up, man, hey, I know you said, my boy, that, that you don't like these guys, that these things, ugh, you don't know them green guys, hey man, these things right here is hard to me, though, man, these things got flavor, man. You got the red laces, you got your green laces. I see a lot of people saying these kind of look like the Heineken's. A lot of people saying, hey, they, they didn't like it too much because you got the patent leather right here on the Nike swoosh. But man, me, I think these things hard, man. I think after a while, you give it a little bit of time, I think a lot, I think people gonna be like, man, I would like to have these in my collection. You know what I'm saying? Because just think about it. You can rock these with a lot of different outfits, man. You can rock this with Army Fatigue. You know what I'm saying? You can black jeans, you can wear it with some regular just uh light denim jeans man you know what i'm saying with a nice little cuff on the on the, on the bottom of your you know me anyway i'm from carolina man you put a little cuff at the bottom of them jeans you know what i'm saying have your nice little shirt with this fit whoo the thing's gonna be super hard though man but i really like them man let me pull the other one out the box here man see what we getting into man see let y'all boys we working with out here oh yeah yeah let me put the lid back right here on these things Woo. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Man, folks talking about these things ain't hard, man. These things go go ham. All right, guys. Without let's let's go ahead and get into it, man. I, we need to do a close-up on these guys right here, man. So as you can see, man, you got that lucky green colorway all the way around, guys, right? On the border of the shoe, around the toe box. Man, you got that white look. Whew. Crispy look. Little pillowcase. Little pillow soft leather man you know what i'm saying you got that little soft leather right here man i just think these things are, are hard man i think these i i'm gonna call these the pillows you know what i'm saying the lucky greens need to be called the pillows man because these are definitely slept on you feel me <laughs> these are definitely slept on man but serious look at the back right here man i can see why people saying like it look kind of like you know the heineken colorway Man, but I still think these are dope, man. Oh, let me make sure I put a little tag out of the box for y'all for for the for the for the other sneaker heads be coming out to my his J's are fake, man. Ain't nothing, man. I don't do nothing about that, man. Ain't nothing about me fake, man. But uh yes, look at this, man. Nice shoe overall, man. On your on your tongue lid, you got the you got the red Nike Air with the Nike swoosh right here. You know, of course, on the inside, let me make sure I pull out the shoe tree for you guys. So as you can see, guys, that's how the little, that, how the tag hang right there. Also, too, on the inside, if we can get another close-up visual right here, if you can see inside of there, you know, they say that's from the Boston Gardens right there, right? As far as on the floor right here. So just paying homage to the Boston Gardens right there as far as on your insole, if, if you guys can see that in there. Um, but yeah, man, I just think these things are hard, man. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a cop? Is this a pass for you? You know what I'm saying? Me, it's definitely a cop. I'm glad I was able to hit for them. Um, you know, and if you do think these are a cop for you, 
comment down below. Let me know what you like about it the most. Like, do you like the material? You know what I'm saying? Do you just like the overall colorway? Do you like the color blocking? How they how they put the colors together like this? Because I think it was a nice touch by adding the cell to the bottom right here, man, to the outer sole, man. Because like I say, I think this this kind of makes it pop too. You know what I mean? It kind of gives it that like rustic look. So I think that's gonna make it a little hard, especially when these get beat up and they worn, man. You know what I'm saying? Not always beat up, but you got y'all, y'all get what I'm saying, man, to my fellow sneaker fiends out there. I think they'll look really, really, really dope, man. You know what I mean? I'm even thinking about hitting these out, putting the putting the red laces in there, especially for Christmas, since everybody talking about these the Christmas, these the Christmas Air Jordan ones. I mean, and that may be true. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I definitely see a lot of people probably that did hit for these. Probably will probably bring them out around Christmas time. But I really do think, man, you hold these to next year. As far as the bigger sizes, I really do think that they'll go up in value. Because, I mean, anytime you got a woman's, you know, shoe that basically men want to go after, the bigger sizes are always going to do more well. So, again, man, let me know if this is a cop or a drop for you, man. Yeah. Let me know how y'all feel down there. But guys, tell me again too, man, what are y'all looking most forward to this week coming up, man? I can't wait for, for this upcoming week, for the next upcoming week, guys. Not necessarily this one, but the week after when we get on to October 31st. Yeah, I already got it loaded up on the sneakers app, man. The Jordan 1 Mochas. A lot of people saying that they're, those are the poor man, Travis Scott. Since, you know, a lot of people probably don't have those now. They see that the value has shot up. But I do think that is a colorway that's basically are going to do very well. I would say probably any size will be a cop if you're trying to go for resale purposes. Um, but I would definitely say if you are to all the resellers out there, I would say, man, first make sure that you go for your personal size if you want a personal because I really do think that those are going to be extremely hard to get because they have a lot of hype around them. A lot of people are wanting to get those. So I really do feel like it's in your best intention to make sure that you go ahead and pre-print early, set up, you know what I mean? Get you, get, get, get the sneaker juices rolling, go ahead and pray to the sneaker gods, man, because you know you got to look out for all the bottles out there, you know, that's going to be doing their thing, setting up, you know what I mean? If you know somebody too that you can run, get some slots ran, you may want to do that, man, because I really do feel like they're going to be harder to get, man, this go around, so... If anybody out there want to send something my way so I can go ahead and um, get me a Jordan 1 Mocha, it'd be highly, highly, uh, I'd be super thankful, put it that way, right? Um, but again, man, I just want to say thank y'all so much for all the love and support that you're showing to the channel. Currently got me at 1,800 subscribers, guys, but we definitely need to grow. We're on the road to try to hit 25 um, subscribers, 2,500 subscribers by the end of November, guys. So please, please, if you like this video and you like the content that I put out, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure that you leave a comment and most importantly, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can be alerted anytime that I drop another video for you guys out there. Um, but also too, man, share. Share, man. That would really help me grow a lot and I, I really do will say it's much appreciated, man. But without further ado, yeah. Lucky Greens, baby.